If your Etsy listing photos are looking flat or generic and you're struggling to stand out in search, you have to see what Kittle just dropped. It's scary how good it is. Prepare to have your mind blown. You can do a mock-up creation, create an editorial. You can even do design creation. They've added powerful new AI tools powered by Google's Nana Banana. And today we're showing you exactly how to use them in your Etsy shop to boost your clicks and sales. And if you're new here, my name's Dylan Jarris. I've been an Etsy seller for nine years. I've helped thousands of Etsy sellers go from zero to thousand dollar months to hundred thousand dollar months. And one of the fastest ways to do that is with your product photos. And the reality is you don't need a professional photographer or a fancy studio setup anymore because you can use tools like Kittle to do all that heavy lifting for you. And you've probably noticed that the best selling Etsy shops on Etsy don't just have great products, but they have amazing visuals and their listing photos look more professional. And with Kittle's new features, you can create that same professional lifestyle look, even if you just have a basic product photo on a white background. Now, I've invited one of our coaches inside of our program, the Ultimate Etsy course, to join us today. And her name is Annabella. And she is a total pro at design and listing optimization. And we're going to show you exactly how to use Kittle's new AI tools in real time. This is mind-blowing. This is revolutionary. Mid-journey when it became available, that was ions ago, looking at today's rate of technology improving. The nano banana, it's scary how good it is. So let's say first, you know, maybe this is your product and you want to show it as editorial. We want to show this product in use. To activate nano banana, you just want to click on the artboard, click the smart board here, and that opens a section on the right hand side, causing us to do a prompt. So let's say we want it on a modern front door so it looks kind of elevated. Zoom in into this street and place it on a modern entrance door. Maybe make sure the consistency of the greenery is not changed. Important, I like to say, keep the crisp detail and make it into a magazine style editorial image. But what they also offer is a little button in here that says enhance the prompt. We can go ahead and use that. It's pretty, pretty good. And I'm just going to hit generate and we'll see what it does. This is what we got. Wow. The great thing is it keeps the exact same detail, the exact same image, the exact same berries. It doesn't change. If I want to change this, if I'm not happy with this door or am I not happy with the window showing, I can still click on the smart board, click to another and then edit my prompt and say maybe change the door into a modern light wood minimalist style and remove the window. You can say change the camera perspective, zoom in, zoom out, and you're going to have the exact same product just being shown on a different, you know, setting that you have specified it. Let's say, for example, we took this photo of this hoodie and maybe we want to put this model into a different setting. So maybe we can say place this model in a minimalist interior using subtle blur in the background so that we can achieve that portrait type of photo. What's going to happen? And right now is that everything's going to stay the same. The hoodie is going to stay the same. The text is not going to be changed, just the background. If we wanted, we could have um, changed the pose of the model. Could we have put pants on her? Absolutely. Yes, we could. So because I said editorial, it added a little text. We can definitely remove that. So I want to do another board and say, and brown luxury pants and lace a copy cow in her. I don't know how it is going to interpret this. Maybe we could say this better. Let's do the enhance. Add a pair of luxurious brown dress pants to the subject, tailored with high quality fabric and a sophisticated cut. In her left hand, place a ceramic. If you wanted, we could change it to a paper cup with a realistic coffee swirl and subtle steam. So we don't want the swirl. So I'm just going to say ceramic cup. 
up and that's it because I don't want to swirl and I don't want to steam. So it, it put it in the right hand, but uh, that is okay. So this is what we got. And then we can also specify, we don't want the sweatshirt to be tucked in. We want, you know, a different type of background, things like that. And then we can also change if we wanted to keep this, we can go back and do the smart board and say, change the sweatshirt color to dark pink and remove the text because maybe we want to add our own logo and maybe we have different you know variations of this color of this sweatshirt so this is pretty good and handy to be you know using if you have there we go wow if you are let's say a mock-up shop and you and you take the initial photo of the person the actual person at the beach it's the real product could you make ai mock-ups and sell mock-ups because it's still the real product Absolutely, yes. You know why? Because you're becoming an art director here. You still need to have a sense of balance, of design, of what works, what is good. You have to know your customer, but you're the one still in charge. The outcome of the AI generation is going to depend heavily on how good your prompt is. I know a lot of the students were saying that they maybe wanted to do a combo of the, you know, maybe sweatshirt and a toad and this is completely new i'm just going to copy paste this board you can actually combine two images into one so we can go and create the smart board in here and then we want to go and create another smart board for the toad but i'm not going to click it I'm just going to drag it and snap it right in here. So when I click on the smart board uh, on the right hand side, I see a thumbnail preview of the sweatshirt and I also see the tote. And now I can say uh, combine this exact same tote bag into the sweatshirt image. Keep consistent with the lighting and the background. Now this is still in beta testing. They actually do suggest to use the ChatGPT extension in the Kittle, but I tried Nano Banana and it worked great. So we only here need to work on the sizing. So maybe we can specify how big the tote is so that we make sure that it's making sense and it's looking realistic. Or we can go ahead, click on here, do another smart board. I'm just gonna put it in here and I'm gonna say make the tote tote bigger. Let's see what's the enhancement suggestion is in here. Enlarge the tote bag design while maintaining its original proportions. All right, let's hit generate. You can even specify the size, say, you know, maybe 25 inches or something like that. It, yeah, it changed that a little bit. So let's say that you have no mock-up or no photo. Maybe you have your digital design and you want to put this on a journal, right? So you can do a smart board and say mock this exact design on a hard cover journal and then maybe we want to place it on a light solid color surface with strong natural shadows and then if we wanted to we could also change the color of the design the more you specify the better so there we go that's amazing absolutely mind-blowing change the color to dark red and add some minimalist holiday decor in the corner you know it changed the color it added a little bit of the elements if you're not happy with that you can change it to the greenery and then looking at it you know you can go back and see all of the images change it you can show this on a male model you can show it on you know as a flat play you can change the color it's pretty amazing what it can do let's say that you know you have a handmade product that you want to package for the gifting so we can say something like take Take this exact soap and place it into a luxury dark gold gift box 
on a dark brown surface with strong natural shadows. Make this magazine editorial luxury style. So here we go. Wow. It's mind blowing. It is just the quality and the consistency. It's exactly the same soap. Yeah. As you can see, so it didn't change it at all. So that's really a, a great, great tool to have. Another thing that you can do, you can maybe take your pattern or your design and change it. So you can say something like change this pattern to dark uh, red and light mute pink, right? And we can click enter and then you can take this further you can put it on a product you can add cherries to it there we go wow that's incredible and that was so fast way faster than trying to play with the dropper and the hex codes and and the good thing is did you have everything in here in one place here's a couple of examples that we were playing in one of the coaching calls we had the other day we took somebody's stones and we just did a simple prong putting them on a gold surface and then we asked nano banana to put it in this beautiful dish uh, her customer is into pottery barns, so we kind of wanted that style. And then we are branching out. We are putting it in the gift box. We are putting it in a hand. And pay attention that the stones did not change. You can honestly just take one photo and then, you know, create the editorial, become an art director, which is so, so, so exciting. That's amazing. And it can be a photo probably with your iPhone or something, right? You can take a photo it doesn't matter you can remove the background it's just important that it's a good lighting it's a good quality photo so if people are watching this and thinking yeah i know my photos are, are terrible but like i thought i needed a va maybe you don't need a va maybe you could do this and this is available with a free subscription obviously with the pro one as well so many opportunities uh, but you still need to understand the major principles of what's working and what's not working for you your customer. What Annabella showed you is exactly how we help our students inside of the Ultimate Etsy course. Many of our students are using these exact methods to elevate their shop and optimize their listings. And they're all doing this without hiring professionals or doing photo shoots. And what we taught you today can directly translate into increased clicks, which means increased sales. And if you want to learn more about how to create listings that actually sell, definitely come to my next free training. I do these free classes and workshops to give you strategies and tactics that you can implement immediately in your shop to get it moving forward. And huge thank you to Coach Annabella for that walkthrough. I hope that you are already thinking about which listings you can start upgrading next and what is possible for your shop now that you have this amazing tool. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more about how you can use AI within your Etsy shop, definitely subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments which AI features you would like to learn about next.